Have you ever come back from a ride and you notice that your saddle is slower than when you start the ride? Yes, sometimes it does happen. Uh, then there's four things that you can check. So if this happened to you, this is the video for you. Yes, sometimes it does happen because there are four reasons for it. Uh, one of them, I've done a video about it, right here. <laughs> uh, when I bought my Brompton, the guy in the store gave me two very important tips. And one of them was, always, when you're gonna put the saddle up or down, open all the way, you know, so it can move freely, you know. And see how mine is kind of... Yes, that's because it's probably a bit dirty. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna clean the seat post and adjust the seat clamp. Those are two of the four reasons that the saddle can start going down when you ride. The first reason could be that your seat posts have, you know, hand, hand fingers. <laughs> like oil our hands some hands have a lot of oil and some people touch here i am touching because they're gonna clean it touch here and you know the seat posts get a lot of oil so sometimes it gets slippery second reason is we have uh, some bromptons we put a plastic sleeve and if you don't open all the way to go down and up Sometimes this plastic sleeve worn out. Not my case. <laughs> Actually, my, my saddle isn't going down, but I think it's a nice time to clean it. And by the way, yes, my seat post is a titanium seat post because we have a lot of rust here in Rio de Janeiro and my seat post was so oh, rusty. So I ordered titanium seat post. I have it for more than a year and it's marvelous. I love it. It does have some little scratches because it goes up and down, but it works fabulous. So let's start it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I told you the first one is dirt on the seat post. Second one is the sleeve. The third reason is the clamp isn't adjusted in the right torque it could be, should be torque but i can show you another way to adjust it if you don't have a torque wrench and the fourth reason would be the the whoa <laughs> mine's working fine is the the clamp it's gone but that's rare that's only in vintage bromptons <laughs> so today i'm gonna show you two things first how to clean your seat post and the second one how to adjust the clamp the other two reasons you have to take to a brompton dealer to change the plastic sleeve or to get a new clamp let's start it let's take this saddle out and i'm gonna show you a little trick before we take it out okay to make life easier <laughs> when you're gonna put everything back the best thing is to mark where your saddle is mark the distance and also i'm right-handed but you can write with the left hand mark the pentacle so this way you have the right position and the right tilt <laughs> Well, to take it out, so, so easy. Okay, remember, lefty, loosely, righty, tidy. I like this. Don't have to be much, just enough so you can take the pentacle away. Loose not too much, it will move, so you don't need to move too much. You can put it right back, it's all marked, see? Now we take the O-ring. Yeah. 
So here we have it. You can use a degreaser or a disc brake cleaner. Okay. The goal is take all the grease and dirt away. So in my case, I'm gonna use a alcohol tissue. If you do have a degreaser or disc brake liquid, you know, anything that takes the grease and dirt away. Let's see if it was very dirty. Wow! <laughs> I didn't expect that. I don't know if it took the, the paint away, but it's black. <laughs> so clean it. Let me see if it was the, the paint. Nope, it was dirt, because now it's a lot cleaner. And now we're going to clean the inside of the plastic slave. Yes, because it could have some dirt here. And wow, it could. <laughs> it is very dirty. After you clean the inside, don't touch your clean seat post with your hands. Our hands are dirty. Let's put it back. Less cleaning. Let's put the saddle back. And then adjust this part here. This part is very important. Okay, seat post all clean. Let's put the o rings back. And a saddle. And our saddle, it's mock. So it's easy to fit back. Not much to do. Just put it here, put it straight, and in my case, I'm gonna get a torque range. As you can see, it did move just a little bit. So we just put it back, you know? That's the great thing about marking. I already put my torque range to 15, and let's tighten it very slowly. into the right torque. Yep, that's it. So the cleaning part is done. The seat post is very clean. The saddle is back to the place that it belongs. <laughs> and now I'm gonna show you the second and actually the most common reason, which is the seat post clamp. Let me show you. Okay. How does the seat post clamp work? There is a plastic sleeve in here. This is the frame. And when you close it, it press, compress this part here. So you can see it, closing it, and fix your seat post, okay? If this here is loose, so you have to tighten it in a way that it will work, but you can never, never pass the three millimeter. And you're gonna ask me, how are you gonna tighten it this year if I don't have a wrench for it? But because Brompton only had those, no, that is. Check this out. See this? Those are levers to take the tire out. And if you take them out, I just pull here and voila. Yes, we have their magnetic. So we have this, this, and this side. And this, in this case, is what we need. I'll show you, I'm gonna loose mine up, okay? So you're gonna see that I loosen up and look how it goes. It doesn't work, see? It makes no pressure at all. So we're gonna tighten it half knot at the time, okay? Because this is very dangerous. If you tighten too much, you can damage the frame, okay? So be patient. Do, do a quarter of the turn, move it up again, see how it's working. Let's start from here. Since it's the first one, I'm gonna move a whole one, okay? So let's start again. See, still those. Do one more. Okay, from now on, I'm gonna do a quarter turn. Because look at it, 
look, how did it change? And, and Brompton says that it's supposed to be a bit hard here, and in the big end, it goes like snap. Okay, so just half more, not half, just a quarter, not even a quarter, just a bit, an uh, eighth. <laughs> yes, look, see? I think it's the right tension. If I ride my bike and I still feel that the seat post is going down, I'll turn like, you know, a sixth of a turn. This here has to be very careful and no hurry at all, okay? So this here should not be more than three millimeters out. If it's four millimeters, it's time for a new seat post clamp, okay? So, if your seat post is sliding down when you're riding your Brompton, press clean the seat post, okay? If you don't want to take everything out, just put, you know, clean all the parts that you see. It does help. But the thing is, this part here would be inside. So it's better to, you know, it's easy. Just take the saddle out and put it down, you know, pretty easy. Well, after you've done this, after you clean it, and after you adjust it, if it's still sliding down, take to a Brompton dealer. They're gonna check to see if is the plastic sleeve or if it's time for a new Brompton seat post clamp. I hope I did help you somehow. I had this problem um, almost a year ago. So I fixed it, but I didn't have the right, you know, measurement. So I didn't want to share with you something that I wasn't sure. Oh, you know, no more than three millimeters. Um, clean it. And I hope you did like it. You like it, thumbs up. And if it did help you somehow, give a special thanks. But please, say it. It's a super thanks. It takes like two days for me to know that this is a super thanks. So to thank you for the super thanks, sometimes it takes longer. If you write down, this is a super thanks. I really like your video. It helped me. I could fix my bike. I didn't have to take to the Brompton dealer. Uh, I can do it by myself. Please give a super thanks. Hope you like it. Subscribe. Bye-bye.